This right here is the personal statement that got me accepted into every single Ivy League university that I applied for, including Harvard, Stanford, UPenn, and Columbia, and won me two of the most prestigious scholarships in the entire world. Those scholarships include the Frank Knox Memorial Fellowship, which is a full ride scholarship to Harvard University and is only awarded to 25 people in the entire world. And then the second is the Quad Fellowship, which is again worth $40,000 every single year and is only awarded to 50 of the top STEM leaders in the entire world. So the premise of today's video is plain and simple. I'm going to be sharing with you my thousand word personal statement that got me into all those Ivies, won me all those scholarships, and also made me a finalist for things such as the Rhodes Scholarship, the Fulbright Scholarship, the O'Shaughnessy Fellowship, and countless other big scholarships out there. To help you guys out on your journey, I've put this personal statement down in the description for free, along with a personal statement guide and a scholarship interview guide if you're lucky enough to get an interview. And if you're looking for more personalized one-on-one -on -one support, be sure to fill out my Google form down below and I'll see what I can do. Also, I put my resume down in the description as a free template for you all and so you can see what I was applying with. Okay, let's get into the meat of this personal statement. It's a thousand words long and I've structured it as follows and I think this is a fantastic structure that you guys can use for your personal statement. So, I have 250 words describing my background and life story, 150 words on my professional achievements, followed by 100 words explaining my career and lifelong ambitions, then 250 words on why the Harvard program is important to me, followed by 150 words on how I plan to contribute to the Harvard campus, and then finally 100 words on the conclusion. There are many different ways to write a personal statement, and this is what we call the timeline structure, which is we're sequencing my achievements and key moments throughout my life in almost a timeline fashion, showing the past experiences and the past achievements that have led me to a point now where I now know what I want to do with the rest of my life, and then I go on to explain how Harvard's going to help me get there and achieve those ambitions. Without further ado, let's get into this personal statement. As you can see, right off the bat, got a really nicely formatted title, there's clear intentions of what I'm applying for, and then my name as well as reference. For the first three paragraphs, you'll notice that I open with the phrase, it's nothing, for the first three paragraphs. This serves as a great tool to keep the story linked back to a common theme as you'll start to see. It's nothing personal, but my Australian high school was not for me. I sat subserviently still for five days a week and found it impossible to pay attention to my teacher's monotone recitals for more than 10 minutes at a time. As a result, I taught myself at night through the online learning platform, Khan Academy. Listening to the engaging voice of Sal Khan in his free education videos empowered me to thrive in school and inspired the work I do today, inspiring tens of thousands of young Australians. Australians. So just setting the scene there for my passion for education, sharing a bit about my upbringing. It's nothing Australian schools seem to be ashamed of, but socioeconomic status is one of our strongest determinants of educational attainment. In my first year of university, I mentored a class of year 10 students in a low socioeconomic school just 20 kilometers outside of Perth. And I asked them, who here believes they can go to university? Out of 30 students, only two put their hands up. So this is the second paragraph, and I'm starting to touch on the significant education inequality that exists in Australia's education system, and I'm starting to hint that I want to do something about it. The third paragraph I've redacted significantly just because it's about my mental health journey. Basically what I'm talking about here is, I, I open with, it's nothing Australian schools seem to care about, but high school failed my mental health. And then I go in to explain how the absence of life skills and social emotional learning during school failed my mental health because I didn't have the skills to be able to deal with my own mental health. Now, after spending three paragraphs setting the scene, you have to remember you've only got a thousand words, so you've got to be super tight, super concise. I then start to tie it into my professional accomplishments because everything so far has just been storytelling and context setting. It's nothing our education policymakers seem to be doing anything about, but millions of Australian students are just like me and the low socioeconomic students I mentored. As a six-time co-author, a former graduate school researcher and the co-founder of one of Australia's largest education non-for-profits, Elucidate Education. I have worked to support more than 100,000 high school students by giving them equitable access to the textbooks, online content, and videos they need to succeed in school. Additionally, as a life skills educator, I have published my own non-fiction book called Realizing Dreams, made countless life education films, and taught thousands of students essential social emotional skills through delivering school workshops. However, this only scrapes the surface of my ambitions for giving millions of young Australians access to equitable and holistic education opportunities. So that fourth paragraph very quickly and concisely summarizes my key achievements in relation to education equality and social emotional learning, which is where I now head into explaining my ambitions 
which of course have to do with those two ideas. My lifelong ambition is to develop two nationwide edtech initiatives that will significantly advance Australia's education equity and holistic education efforts. My first edtech initiative aims to expand Elucidate Education Australia-wide to provide our 750,000 year 10, 11 and 12 students with free access to all the textbooks, online content, educational videos and assessment software they need to succeed in school. My second EdTech initiative aims to build a nationwide life education curriculum that will be freely available on the Elucidate Education platform. To do this, I plan to collaborate with leading experts in social emotional learning to create engaging videos and online content that will equip millions of young Australians with the knowledge they need to thrive beyond school. Okay, that's me outlining my lifelong ambitions within a hundred words. It has a clear connection to my past experiences and my upbringing, along with my professional experiences, so it's all tying together in a very concise and well-written narrative. So I've got these lifelong ambitions and now I'm going to spend the remaining 500 words explaining how the hell Harvard is going to help me to reach those ambitions along with how I plan to contribute to the community and just closing out. So let's dive into that. Also through this remaining 500 words you're going to see how you can write about how a university is going to help you achieve your ambitions and hopefully this gives you some good ideas of how detailed you should be and how much research you should do. The EDM in Learning Design Innovation and Technology at the Harvard Graduate School of Education is undoubtedly the best program to empower me to achieve my ambitions. For expanding Elucidate Education Australia-wide, I want to ensure that I am designing ethical education technologies that provide targeted support to marginalised Australian students from low socioeconomic, rural, remote and indigenous backgrounds. By pursuing my HGSE concentration in global, international and comparative education, I will learn from the world leading universal design researcher, Professor Jose Black Orby and two of the founding fathers of EdTech, Professor David Docterman and Professor Christopher Deedy. With their decades of experience pioneering world leading education technologies, I will gain a comprehensive understanding of universal design principles, inclusive learning models and user-centered design strategies and how they can be translated into the design of impactful ethical education resources at Elucidate Education. For developing my life education curriculum, I plan to learn from world-leading children's educational media designer, Professor Joseph Black. He has pioneered educational media shows such as Sesame Street and his units will provide me with a wealth of knowledge on how to create films that are grounded in design principles. Pairing this with internships at educational media production companies in Boston, such as edX and Khan Academy, will be the perfect hands-on experiences I need to grow my filmmaking skills and shape my life education curriculum to cater to young Australians from all backgrounds. Okay, so over those last two paragraphs, you got to see how the program is going to help me to achieve my ambitions. And now we're going to quickly dive into what I hope to do beyond the classroom as well, because that's equally as important to write about. Beyond the classroom, I am eager to collaborate with world-leading researchers at the HGSC Making Care Common Project to develop empirically grounded social emotional resources for my life education curriculum. Additionally, working from the Harvard Innovation Labs brings the exciting opportunity to build partnerships with fellow EdTech non-for-profit founders. For instance, since our Elucidate Education platform already supports more than 59,000 students each year, I hope to form enduring bilateral partnerships with HGSE students that will allow us to share our education technologies and expand our impact to hundreds of thousands of additional students across the globe. That's everything I hope to gain from the program. Now let's dive into how I plan to contribute to the community. Above all else, as a young, ambitious Australian who has developed innovative solutions to provide tens of thousands of marginalised young Australians with access to more equitable and holistic education opportunities, I believe I can contribute immensely to the HGSE community and mission. I plan to do this by continuing continuously sharing my deep understanding of Australia's education system, creating culturally inclusive environments for my fellow international students, joining student leadership positions, and forming enduring partnerships with my fellow HGSE EdTech entrepreneurs. My head hurts from just reading all of that. That's all the main content, and now we're just gonna close it out with a nice conclusion to wrap everything up in the space of 100 words. From the innovative and groundbreaking nature of my two EdTech initiatives, I believe I can make a significant difference in the lives of millions of young Australians each year. By expanding Elucidate Education to be Australia-wide, hundreds of thousands of Australian students from low socioeconomic backgrounds 
will gain free access to all the textbooks, online content, and educational videos they need to succeed in school. Additionally, by introducing Australia's most comprehensive life education curriculum, millions of young Australians will be equipped with the critical social-emotional skills that will allow them to thrive beyond school. Through the support of the Frank Knox Memorial Fellowship, I will work with world-leading edtech professors, take advantage of the unparalleled on-campus opportunities, and grow into a leader capable of transforming Australia's education system and the lives of millions of young Australians. Signed by myself. So that's it. That's the entire personal statement that got me into every single Ivy League, won me multiple scholarships, and made me a finalist for literally every single big scholarship out there. I really hope this is helpful in you guys achieving your own college dreams. Remember, you're gonna have to write your own because every personal statement is different. So if you need that support, be sure to check out my free personal statement guide, my interview guide, um, my resume. This personal statement is also down there. And also if you want that one-on-one -on -one support, be sure to check out my one-on-one -on -one services in the Google form. If you've stuck around for this entire video, I just wanted to say thank you. The love on this channel has been exceptional and we're almost at a thousand subscribers now, which is really cool. Building a community of people who are passionate about these scholarships and these large elite colleges and how to get into them. So thank you guys. And I wish you guys all the best in your college dreams. Be sure to ask me any questions in the comment section below. Good luck.